Okay, here we are at the uh, first lab in Chapter 6 using a phototransistor. And the circuit we are building is right here. This is the schematic. Down below here you see the, uh, the actual uh, circuit as it would appear on your board. And in a moment here we'll be flipping over to uh, a movie showing the actual uh, board wired like this. Okay, for purposes of uh, understanding, uh, this phototransistor will act as a switch, and what will activate the switch is the amount of light. So when there is insufficient light on the base here, this transistor will act as a switch, and the switch will be open. It will not be allowing voltage to flow down through this part of the circuit, or I should say it won't allow current to flow. Now when we get sufficient amount of light here, um, this switch, it, the transistor acting as a switch, will begin to conduct. Current will flow through this circuit. Uh, uh, from VDD to ground and as current flows through the 2K resistor here we will have a voltage developed and in the other sections we've looked at Ohm's law we know that current times resistance will give us a voltage when that voltage across the 2K resistor exceeds 1.4 volts uh, it will be fed, well it'll be, the, whatever voltage is fed uh, or across the 2K will also be fed to our input P6, but when that voltage uh, gets above 1.4 volts, it will be sufficient enough to cause the binary state to change from a 0 to a 1. And so now I want to switch over to the actual uh, program here and the program we'll be running is called Test Binary Photo Transistor and what it'll do, it'll display a 1 when the phototransistor circuit applies more than, and there's that voltage again, 1.4 volts to P6. And so let's slide this up a little bit so we can actually see this. So here we have, this is the 5 volt input coming in. Uh, this is our uh, phototransistor and when, let's see, at, uh, at this intersection right here, when we have enough current flowing through this uh, resistor uh, above 1.4 volts, that voltage will simultaneously be fed over here to P6, and we should get a input. So let's um, uh, turn this program on. I'm going to click the Run. And here we have IN6 equals zero. So what that's saying is that the light, there's insufficient light right here to cause this transistor to conduct. Now I'm going to introduce a light source and you can see the little flashlight that I'm putting on the phototransistor right here. And you'll notice that our input here has switched to a one. And what that means is that now there's more than 1.4 volts applied or the, the, trans, the current is flowing through the transistor and it's developing in excess of 1.4 volts at this point and that uh, 1.4 volts is being fed here and anything above 1.4 volts is perceived to be a high uh, for purposes of your boba. So if I remove the light you'll see uh, this goes to a zero. If I reapply the light you'll see uh, and that is the switching action that we will get from a photo transistor.